Themes in PTE AV Studio allow us to use a number of different slide styles, combine them together and apply them with just a couple of clicks. There are five different themes that come as a part of this software. More will be added in future upgrades, but we can create our own themes too. A theme will tell us just how many styles it contains, but if the number is four or eight, like these here, the theme can still be applied to as many images as we want, because the styles within the theme will just be repeated more than once. So a theme could contain slide styles of a similar nature, such as the Ken Burns effect, which is a collection of gentle pans, zooms and rotation. Or a theme could be just a selection of your favourite slide styles. So from within the themes window, we need to go to tools and create a theme. At the top left, we'll see all of the slide style categories that we have installed within PTE AV Studio. Now we can reveal what's inside any of these categories by just clicking the little down arrow and they'll all open up and we can close them up in a similar way. If I want to include every single slide style within the basic category into my theme, then if I just tick the box, you'll see them all appear down at the bottom right. I can remove them by selecting any individual one theme and using the minus here, or I can just go back and remove the tick. So let me begin by dropping down all of those slide styles within the basic category. Because what I can do now is to just select those that I want to appear in my theme. So if I just tick one, then you'll see that one appear down at the bottom right. So we can select just a few of these. And then we could switch to those with borders, for example, and I could select some of these two. I think you can see the creation of a theme is pretty easy. Over on the right hand side of course we get to give our theme a name which is important so we can identify it in the future and we get to keep our themes in a category as well. As usual we do have some options to place some information about who the author is, maybe a website, and any comments that we feel are necessary. So as you can see here I've added my names and basic information. But as we move down this particular window we can see three other options. Now unless we tick the random box the slide styles you can see here will appear in our slideshow in the order they are listed. But we do have two other options here. Even if we applied the random order, we can still tell the theme that it should apply the first slide style first and or the last style last. Now this can be important for those who have the need to recreate or repeat slideshows but wish to retain a certain start and end style. So turning our attention to the slide styles we wish included into our theme, we can add others with the plus and we can remove them with the minus, but we also get the opportunity to change the running order. For example, if the frame pan left zoom out slide style was needed to start the sequence here, I can use the arrow to just bring that to the top. Once we've done that, we can go down to the OK button and we can click to create our theme. So now I could select all of the slides in my slideshow. I'll use Control A to do that. If we go to the styles and themes and back into the themes, there you can see the category that I created and within that category, we're only going to find one theme at the moment, but there you can see it with seven styles. I can either double click here or apply and we're done. 
Coming back to the tools in themes, we can see the sort of options we would expect. Edit theme, rename and delete. We can also see though that we can share our themes or download themes from others via import and export. Now I've placed a theme down below, download that and import it into your PTE AV Studio and apply it to a batch of images. See what you think. Now one option you have if you import a theme from somebody else is that you can edit that theme and then save it with a different name. So not only have you got the original, but you've got one set up to your own requirements. I'll see you next time.